Hey guys, I just want to show you one of the most innovative things to ever exist on earth, it's a toilet. Welcome back to the podcast everybody, yes, thank you for noticing. We are now officially in our new studio, and we got a proper intro and other graphics as well. Whoa, this looks pretty cool. Good thing we didn't need to use a cave as a podcast studio for some reason. Hey, are you sure this desk is fit enough in the studio? Don't worry, it's worth of size. But anyway, we apologize for not using a Minecraft news gone crazy studio as we originally planned to do because the game kept crashing every time we loaded up the map. So instead we rebuilt the studio with a little bit of originality from MCNGC. You can download the map in the description below. But anyway, let's take a look around our new studio. So when you first stumble across the middle of nowhere, you can see the entrance to our studio. This particular studio is called, Milton Studios. Yup, I have a newsroom named after me, Luli. And this is the only room you can encounter when you walk in. Just a bunch of computers and chairs. Where the heck is the reception? You may wonder. And this is where we are at right now, the main studio. It's almost similar to the MNCGC News Studio, but everything is blue. That kind of reminds me of the 2021 studio, I think. Finally, this is the editor's room. Here we have these two podcast editors making sure that everything is perfectly shaped. No, don't freak out. They are not trapped here forever. They have an exit. But where does the exit lead to, you may wonder, here, in this light marsh neighborhood. Our editors can simply go home and relax while watching TV. Oh look, we found another village. But wait, what is that over there? Yo, it's a white colored hollow shaped building or some sort. What the heck? There's someone in there. Help! Help! I'm trapped in the sanctuary. Get me out of here. How did that get in there? I don't know, probably some lazy builder wanted to build a skyscraper but he didn't have enough money to do it. But anyway, last week, I asked you guys to submit some headline or topic requests for this episode, and it was totally worth it. So let's just start with the Reddit questions. Hello Milton, what's your opinion for being a news reporter? Oh, it's okay, I've been a news presenter for... Well, quite a long time if you ask me. Okay, next question. Hey Milton, what TV show do you like the most? Well, better call Saul. What the hell is happening? Great. Now I won't be seeing anything for a week. Anyway, let's move to Discord now. And oh ho ho ho, this one looks good. How Eon is losing money. Just a reminder, it's just a copycat version of Eon that caused the internet outage incident in Ruffle Cup. Don't you dare make those conspiracies against us or I'll shut off your internet. No, you. Hey, you didn't have to hit all of us. Oops, sorry. My bad. Oh well, let's move on. One of Tootie's headline requests would be something to do with TPOT12's release. It may mention spoilers to those who haven't watched yet. Okay, so this episode just came out a week ago, and I have already seen a few clips about that episode. What exactly happened was. <laughs> Well, here we go again. The task is which has returned and spoiled our TPOT 12 discussion. What's next? Frank Bob dies due to his life support battery running out of power. JBC Productions comments on one of my videos. Um, what? Frank Bob, live on a battery. What the hell is up with these requests? Who is Frank Bob? He must be SpongeBob's cousin who only lives with a battery, or I don't know. Oh well, 
Let's continue. Ruben Elsbin is abandoned for fight one year ago. Well, we can show a footage of what happened. Why did you have to make me show that? Uck. Continuing on, what happened to Zooriki? Before you ask, no, Zuriki isn't dead, it's still here. Yeah, but we haven't seen this popping up on G4PTV's channel for quite a long time now. Welcome to the jungle where your parents will never find you when you are lost. Unless there is a way out. Hey yo, I made it out of the jungle, let's go. Five hours later, you finally made it out of the jungle. But the true question is, and now what? You made it back to civilization. Oh hell no, what's happening now? Just, I just, just, I just, this is BBC One. The zombies are coming. Just one day later, civilization was completely ruined. The village, as we know it, is now just a piece of memory. Untitled. Because we don't even know what we are supposed to call this. Hello, Zuriki. Welcome back. We apologize about what happened earlier. Someone outside our studio pressed the commercial break button and the commercial immediately popped up. Wait, so who exactly pushed the commercial break button anyway? Jim or Travis? Whoever did it. Let's continue with the next one. Minecraft and citizens are binge watching Tomota Source videos and get powered by emotion. Here's what it don't. Don't you dare play that. Stop sending us nothing but Tomota Source. I mean, why Gabriel animates? Every single request you make always has to be about Tomota Source. This is seriously annoying. And we will never accept it as long as I exist. So please request something useful for once. I'm not trying to be rude. Just asking, God. Great, we only just moved to our new studio and we already got into a drama. What next, a lawsuit? What Minecraft version are you in guys? Currently, we're on 1.12, but we sometimes use newer updates on most occasions, such as Minecraft movies, skits, or Hypixel streams and such. Villager walks north border of Villager City. Um, guys? Are you sure this is the right city? I mean, where the heck is everyone? You picked the wrong house, fool! Oh, talk about a bad ending. Next one. Zombie Apocalypse Live Report with Charlie Morningstar Magni. I'm really going to regret this. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad. It's going to be quite entertaining, I think. What is up, fellow humans? I am at the top of a church with... Oh, I didn't do anything yet. Never mind. I'll just walk around the villages if nothing What the hell is going on Oh my Fujitsu Simasu, I am super duper meda hyper sorry, but you are now in Sargotarian. What the hell was that? Those zombies literally scared the crap out of me. Yikes. Okay, what's the next one? Sports live report about the youth for Cup 2024 about Spain winning. Here in Bulgapur, many English football supporters are upset when they find out that their team didn't win the eight for Euros once again, losing its victory to Spain. Many fans sell- <laughs> Señorita, coming soon to Televisa. Televisa presenta. Televisa presenta. Oh, come on. I was trying to do a report and the city ruined it. You know what? I'm done. I quit. 
Lol what? Have commercials in this podcast? Actually, we already had one. Oh, okay. Then let's move on to the next request. Zombie Apocalypse with Blitzer and Moxxy from Hell of a Boss. Great. Here we go again with another live report with two reporters. This isn't going to be easy. Damn it Jim, stop messing with the skin loader and make it work next time. Oh well, it doesn't matter. But anyway, unfortunately we have run out of time for this episode, and we're sorry we didn't get to answer the requests you sent in for us. But don't worry, we will try again tomorrow. In the meantime, feel free to leave more requests in the comments below, or check us out on Discord. And if Pedro Silva is watching, I hope we can see the new Minecraft News Gone Crazy episode soon. Don't forget to give us a shout out to our new podcast by the way. I hope you're not jealous. Anyway, bye everyone. This video was part of G for PTV's Super Saturdays. Super Saturdays, the perfect way to kick off the weekend.